Welcome back guys. Today we're starting a brand new series called Beaters Across America. We got $1,500 all in budget to fly to a random town, buy a ship box, and race it back to Georgia. We have Graham from Defiant Motorsports who's going to help me co-host this series. And today we have a special guest, Josh from Patreon Line. All three of us are going to be buying these ship boxes and racing them back to Georgia. Our first destination today, New Orleans. But first, let's go over a few rules. Rule number one, have a $1,500 all-in budget that pays for food, fuel, flight, and the car, and we can manipulate the budget by gambling, scratch-off, so if we win money or lose money, it all counts. Rule number two, we can't start searching for a vehicle until the plane wheels touch the ground. Uh, we landed about 10 minutes ago, and I think we've all found one. Rule number three, if the car breaks down, we got two hours to abandon it, fix it, or find us another car, or sell it on the interstate and get something else. Rule number four, we have to be back in Atlanta in 48 hours. My Uber just pulled up, so I'm about to go buy the car. We'll meet you guys at Patriot Honor. I heard they checking for me, no one checking on me, so I had to go run up a check. I got the message on me, ain't no flexing on me, my attorney gon' call and collect. Blessings on blessings for me, my success has only made him envy. Josh here with Patriot Liner. We are at Patriot Liner headquarters in Madisonville, Louisiana. We've got all the beaters together now, so we're gonna do a walk around of each of them, let you know, to let you see what we think. Mine is a three Impala. I think it's an LS trim, which is a, definitely an upgrade. You can see here, the front fender needs a little bit of love. It's got a brand new passenger door on it though, so I'm pretty excited about that. I feel like that should have bumped the value up and they didn't even say anything about it, so. With the seat covers, for yes, sure. The seat covers, I feel like they put that in just to list it. I'm afraid to take them off. So they're gonna stay on. Hey, no head unit. She had a head unit in the box. <laughs> Who's Whose money's in the console? Six dollars in cash they left in there. So you so that brings my budget up to three hundred and forty-one left instead of three thirty-five. I mean, my panel's gone. I don't even have a glove box. She stole the head unit out of it. She, <laughs> she a, actually took she it had out. A brand new Kenwood head unit in the box, and she's like, "Do you mind if I take it?" I was like, "I guess not. That's cool. You know, I don't need a radio." <laughs> you know, the thermostat might be sticking a little. The the gauge is a little running hot. Little huh? wonky. <laughs> okay. I think it's a false hot. False okay. hot. So we'll we'll get her aired out on the interstate, get some cold air in there. I think Watch she'll be the steam right. start flying yeah. out. Yeah, yeah. All this for a thousand bucks. She was asking sixteen fifty, thousand bucks cash. First red flag was she didn't even try and negotiate. When I said a thousand, she goes, Yep, perfect. And I was like, oh thousand bucks on the car. I spent sixty three on an Uber. I spent twenty at Texas Roadhouse waiting for this lady we ate. Um, and eighty for the flight. Sixty for the flight. 60. Okay. Yeah, she yeah, she came. So I managed to pick up a 2004 Pontiac Sunfire. I actually got this from a uh, used car dealership. Um, it was listed for about six minutes and I messaged them and they had it listed for $1,995. I offered him a thousand. He came back at 1500. I countered at 1200 or uh, I countered at 1100. He said 1200 and I said 1200 and a full tank of gas. It's called fucking strategy, all right? Got new tires on, it's got a new radiator, it's got new coolant hoses. And I think legit. I'm in the best. You have a I have a drive out tag, I have insurance, I have everything needed. Um, I don't want to say I'm jealous, but this is a pretty good deal, 1200 bucks. It, 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 I'm happy with it, I think it'll make it back to Atlanta. Yeah. So 1200 for the car, <laughs> 60 for the flight, that's, um, and then I had, uh, the Uber was, 58 bucks, 59 bucks, and um, seven dollars at McDonald's, unfortunately. So that puts me at $175 left to make it back to Atlanta. Dang, <laughs> <laughs> This is my 2005 uh, Pontiac Montana. Let me show you this custom uh, starter right Why? here. So I don't have a window or a door panel. It won't start. <laughs> What the fuck just happened? <laughs> <laughs> Push button, baby. <laughs> <laughs> My window is stuck down. I thought I got a good deal. My heat works good, so that's always a plus. 
All right. I'm going to go with uh, Chase here having the first <laughs> malfunction. <laughs> Dude, oh, oh, no. You are going hang on. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> I'm in danger. Rear. Look at the rear. What? Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> <laughs> you are going to shred both of those tires on the way home. <laughs> I paid $1,200 for this car. Started out at fifteen hundred. I said eight hundred. He said no. This is gives my ass that I would put it down. Otherwise, I'm killing you all in the morning. I said thousand. He said no. Counted at thirteen. I said I'll do twelve hundred. Sixty dollars in flight. Sixty-six dollar Uber ride to Slidell, Louisiana. Got a quarter tank of gas, but it gets twenty miles to a gallon. So it's a twenty-five gallon tank. <laughs> The, ba the best part about this van is that every single one of us messaged him, but Chase messaged him first. <laughs> That's right. Got no specialty tires though. Obviously, because we haven't left yet and it is kind of a safety issue, we're gonna give him one free pass. He did have a full size spare in the van, so we're gonna let him change one of the tires, obviously the worst tire. Um, Josh is gonna let us use his forklift since we don't have a jack, so we're gonna jack this thing up and we'll get one of those tire chains and we'll get on the road. All right, so the guys gave me an extra 30 minutes to prep because he's out there changing tires. You dumb mother I've got some Patriot liner here. This is not how we normally do it. It dries in 10 seconds, so I don't need to wait for that to dry. Uh, but we're gonna make it all one color before we get back on the interstate. So it's not really cost us anything. It's our material, it's been here. Uh, but we're gonna give this thing a 30 minute paint job. guys we got everything set up finally with the cars i think we're going to be able to make it back we have between 100 and 300 dollars to make it back to atlanta from new orleans let's go here we go at the top of the class on the road and it's time to run it up yeah you know maxed out put the pedal to the flow hey on the road here we go here we go yeah we win it all right first five or so miles down in this absolute Finally making our way back to Atlanta. Long eight, seven hours. A pretty nasty shake at about 65, which I'm doing now, which probably shows on the camera. The more I drive this, the more I figure out about it. I only have a third brake light. I don't have actual brake lights. Right blinker is stuck on. The only blinker that I have that's operational is my front left. The radio doesn't work. And then it's just going to be long. So we had to stop and get gas, Red Bull snacks, and uh, we're about to get back on the road now. Dude, watch the paint! If anybody had to ask me what my strategy was, it'd probably be slow and steady. Meanwhile... Slow down. Let's go run it. This is uh, one of the last stops we might make together. And he found some air fresheners in here and uh, I don't have any spare coin for any. So we're gonna rock. Fuses, <laughs> baby. <laughs> what, uh, the rock, paper, scissors for fuses no and fuses. air fresheners? <laughs> Those are mine, dude. All right, rock, paper, scissors for this. You in on this? So only two of us can <laughs> win. Ready? I'm two out of three. No, Okay. heads up. Here you go, buddy. You automatically get one because ah. he lost. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my <good> god! <laughs>
somewhere in Alabama. We already went through Mississippi, so that's good. We're one state away. Uh, the trans is slipping. Check engine lights on. There's possibly a body rolling around in the trunk. <laughs> Have you even opened the trunk yet? Yeah, I just left oh, the glove okay. boxes in there, the spare tire, <laughs> the jack. Just uh, just finished getting some fuel, so now uh, we're here at the cheapest place on this exit, Taco Bell. See if uh, see what I can get with my depleting budget. Uh, I think I'm down to 100. Twenty dollars and still have four and a half hours to go. So, let's see what we can get. Hi, how are you? Hey, uh, can I get the spicy potato soft taco? Spicy uh, potato soft taco. Yes, a uh, uh, cinnamon twist. Okay. But I'll get a water. Uh, okay. Water, the water. Yeah, I don't have any money for anything else. What else are you? Oh, that's it. <laughs> Two dollars and twenty cents. You think Chase's tire's gonna blow? I think it's gonna blow. I think that's, he, he's the only other person who has uh, an advantage to uh, uh, winning this. Josh, that transmission's not gonna last. I think so. To be fair, when I rode in it, it did not slip. No? The suspension sounds horrendous. All right, well, so. But, it, but he's made slip. it this far. He's he going slow and steady, so he might be that guy who comes in. He has in. made it this far. Chase also has no window, He's, and no free, he's gotta be freezing. <laughs> Dude, it has so, gotta suck, it's cold. So, Chase is freezing, and he's got a tire that's about to blow. He, he's the only one who probably has a chance to be, beat this old, this old sexy sunfire. Thank you, ma'am. Ooh, it's cold, baby. And we're off. We are out of here. I have no headlights. My window's broke still. <laughs> you wanna roll it up real quick? Yeah, yeah, let me just... <laughs> let me just, uh... <sighs> perfect. Oh, 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 sorry. Okay, perfect. Here we go. <laughs> we got Graham right here. I just ran into the back of his car.
works good, so that's always a plus. I watched him come in here, getting all hype, and then I ran over to him. I thought I won. I was like, the van that can. Look, look, look. I, out of out of everything, the real MVP goes to chase the rear tire the whole way here. The real MVP right there. That's so bad. I was actually afraid for that the whole way. I kept thinking like, yeah, I was hitting like 90 Why and I'm like, got, it's about 90. to blow out, I'm gonna feel it. <laughs> I lost? <laughs> you had a podium no, finish, dude, man. You got third place. Second loser. Four. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we made it back to Defiant Motorsports. Last place, special guest got last. That's not very accommodating of them, but here we are. It is late, we're tired. We ran over shadow people on the road. You start seeing things, you get really exhausted. But it was awesome. I hope the next special guest gets to kick their ass. It's late, I think we're all ready to get in our trucks and go home. Make sure you guys subscribe so you can... <laughs> Make sure you like, subscribe, leave a comment so you don't miss the next episode. Now it's time to explain to you guys how we find the random cities we're going to. We have a wheel with 20 of the lowest priced airfares leaving Atlanta. All we do is... 